Go get your man. And I feel like Butterfly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, take a seat, because we got to speak. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, if you like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay in tune with everything that I got going on. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. Now, you could be three million places doing three million things, but you are here with me, and that is for a reason. Whether you love it or hate it, we're going to debate it. <sighs> the things that niggas do. In battle rap for clout. Anything. I do anything for clout. Anything. Do anything for clout. Another Father's Day. Cause the results are in. You off. Not the Father's Day. What's going on, man? <clears throat> Y'all know me as Uncle Hayes. Cause she was fucking on Uncle Hayes cause you were not giving up the pipe right now. Like, like. Barmageddon Battlegrounds, straight to the guns, is the click. Um, I was informed of something today. Um, kinda sounded like a joke until I was informed of how legitimate it was. Uh, you niggas are doing just a little bit too much to try to win a battle or whatever off a promo. So apparently, I'm the father to Dre Dennis' son. Like, you niggas are willing to go this far to win a battle rap. Well, uh, let me get straight to the point because, I mean, time is money. Uh, my name is Henry Hazley, H-A-Z-L-E-Y, not H-A-Z-E. <clears throat> I do not know Dre Dennis' wife. I live in Louisville, Kentucky, and I damn sure don't know this Prezi nigga or Prezi or whatever his name is. You niggas aren't skilled enough to win a battle off it. Y'all need all this old extra shit. So in closing, my only interaction with Dre Dennis is battling him and beating the shit out of him. Like that's it, that's all. Y'all stay focused, stay blessed, and keep a real nigga's name out your mouth. Straight to the guns. Everybody hitting me up telling me to not even address this shit. But I got to for the people that actually was believing this dumb ass shit. Stop playing with niggas family. This shit is battle rap. This shit's supposed to be about rapping. There's no reason that somebody should be printing out a picture of somebody kid to use in a battle. There's no reason. There's no excuses. It don't matter what you think you found out or none of that. Like, this is niggas' family you playing with. There's no reason my wife should have to wake up and see this type of shit on the internet and people slandering her name and my family name. That's disrespectful. That's past battle rap. And I promise you, I promise you, everybody not going to be professional like Drake Dennis. You better use me as the fucking spokesperson is keeping it professional. Because ain't no, I don't know many other battlers that could do that. Everybody that go to the events with Dre Dennis don't want to keep it professional. They don't, everybody don't care about the bag. Everybody don't care about the culture and making sure they put on as a role model. Everybody don't care about that. And I need all the media outlets that was believing this, that was posting it and putting it everywhere. I need y'all to do the same thing with this video and make sure niggas know the truth. That shit's all false. All that paperwork is false. All of that shit. Stop playing with niggas' family. Hey, yo, what the fuck? You guys don't know, I'm going to bring you up to speed on salute to Dre Dennis, salute to Battle Academy and everything that they've got going on and things like that. Dre Dennis is uh, one of the most uh, consistent battle rappers, you know what I'm saying? He's very consistent. 
Uh, he's done a lot for himself. He's built Gates of the Garden from the ground up. He dibbled and dabbled on and off URL. He's lost weight. You know what I'm saying? He's put on with the Loud Boys, and he's been a stable. Like, he's been doing his thing for a while. I know Dre Dennis gets a lot of flack. Who wants to battle him? He battles eight times on his own cards. And while he does do that sometimes, he still gets respect. I fuck with Dre Dennis. I got a lot of respect for him and what he's done for his platform and what he's done for his city. Now, he's battling on rookies versus vets on Battle Academy. Battle Academy, salute to Stiz and everything that he's got going on. He's trying to put out, you know, a bunch of different MCs and get them looks and things like that. And Battle Academy has been doing well for a while. Now, in the middle of this battle that I probably would have not saw if it wasn't for this, the battle that he's battling, named Prezi, I don't know where he got this information from or what he did. He chose to use an angle, right? And the angle was, <laughs> this is crazy, like this is some crazy shit. The angle was Dre Dennis wife, respectfully, Candace, the child is not Dre Dennis. Like, it was the, like, bro, when I heard this, like, so many people started sending me this clip, I was like, there is no way. I done seen a lot of things in my life, but there's, I do not believe this in any way, shape, but these niggas went far. Like, they had a PDF file of some DNA results with this man's child's name and his name on the joint. All the little numbers that I don't even know how to get to these calculations. This is 99.9999% some other nigga is the father. The nigga name is Hayes. As a matter of fact, uh, Drake Dennis Battle Hayes. I actually went and watched that battle because uh, under journalism, doing my due diligence and watching things back. I was like, bruh, Drake Dennis already battled this nigga? The, the, dude, the dude who they're accusing, who they were accusing or saying was the father, right? He ain't though. Because he just came out with a video that Drake Dennis sent me yesterday and he posted his shit. And... These niggas really took Dre Dennis, the dude, and his son's picture and put it on there and passed out paperwork, big K style, in a battle. That is the epitome of stupid. This is this man's family. Like, I understand that niggas want to get on, niggas want to be known, niggas want to do views, niggas trying to like blow up and battle rap, but bro, this is just not the way. That's that man's family. You think that that man's wife don't got family, don't got cousins, don't got nephews, don't got uncles, aunties that watch battle rap that know who they are and see this shit on the internet and are calling her up. And this woman's a real estate agent that's selling houses, doing her thing, and you put this out for what? For a battle? Bro, like, get, no, no, uh -uh. ain't no, 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 no. Now, we've all done dumb shit in our lives, myself included. But this right here has got <laughs> Y'all niggas is bucking, son. And you really, 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 really lucky that Dre Dennis didn't steal you in the middle of the battle. Because if you'd have stole you, I would not have, I would not have felt any way about it. Bro, you playing with a nigga kids, with a nigga wife, with a nigga family? Bro. In the black community, most of us, out of maybe every 10 people, maybe three or four grow up with a mother and father. You know how privileged and how proud you should be to be a, a black, as a black father? You're gonna put out a fake angle that this man's son wasn't his? What happens 10 years from now when his son grows up as 12, 13, 14 and wants to start watching what his dad does and starts watching the battles back and shit like that and sees some shit like this? about his own mother. That's not true. It's not even true, my dog. Like, come on, son. And you think, listen, people can tell you whatever they want about anybody they want. I try not to brag about, you know, the numbers that we do over here and things like that. This is one of the biggest channels. There ain't 10 niggas that's doing this that's bigger than me. It might not be five, seriously. I don't got the time to tell you it is what it is. You think they didn't send? Niggas were sending me this all day long. Yo, Vada, you gotta talk about, yo, look at this, the drink that is penny, baby. And I was like, nah, no, mm-mm, don't feel it. I'ma let it sit a day or two. And I let it sit a day or two. And boom, comes out that the angle's not even. <laughs> bro, we gotta do better, my nigga. Like, we got to do better, bro. You owe that man an apology. I, and then I looked, because I, I had seen the videos, and then the man, the dude, Prezi, had posted another video of the, uh, I think it was drinking your uh, Don't Be a Menace in South Central when all the babies was there. Who's my daddy? And, bro, like, you really ran with this. You Saquon Barkley ran with this shit. I, listen. 
This is for you, bro. This is for you. And Prezi, this is definitely for you because if you didn't know it and you ran with that, whoever gave you that was crazy and you running with that was even crazy. Like you ran all the way to the end zone with that shit. And I seen you that tried to like video call me. It was mad early, son. I got kids. I'm not talking to niggas at seven o'clock and eight o'clock in the morning. I'm sorry, it's not gonna happen uh, on Instagram. So, bro, I had, but I have to give you this. Like, there's no fucking way. Why would you go with that angle if you didn't know if it was true or not? Nigga sent you that P a PDF. <laughs> That's that man family, dog. So I'm gonna say it like this. Uh, and what was you gonna? Like, you thought that was a big K moment? That was you gonna be your big K moment? <laughs> bro, bro, I thought that was gonna be his fucking big K moment to come out with some paperwork on Dre Dennis. Kid! Not he snow, not like he caught a case and he told on a nigga, or blah, 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 blah. Because there be niggas who told on niggas before. And if I know a nigga told on a nigga, I won't fuck with him ever. Like, I was just funny as shit. Like, earlier this morning, I was on, um, on social media and asked and it was like they said you know they do the little suggestions and they suggested me to add somebody that i knew ratted on somebody years ago like it was like maybe 15 20 years ago but i remembered that he did it it's no way we can't be friends i'm not out of you like you ain't telling on me but I, I i'm good enough to still not rock with you period like if you tell a nigga that's that's ultimate no i'm good but anyway Bro, like, you, it's way more ways to give notice than battle rap. I know battle rap is a crowded field. I know everybody wants to be a fucking rapper. We need more construction workers. We more, need more engineers. We don't need a bunch of more rappers. Everybody wants to be a rapper, but... <sighs> that ain't the way you want to end up on this channel, bro. Like, I should not be talking about you the first time on this channel with some shit like this. <laughs> but I'm going to let you have that, though, man. Salute to Dre Dennis. Uh, I do respect the fact that he did not steal on dude because there was a lot of other battle rappers that was hitting me up like couldn't be me Ain't no fucking way matter of fact. I'll read uh, One of the messages that I got from a very well-known battle rapper I don't really want to put no names out no shit like that because it don't matter <laughs> Man sold me uh, What he said man. Oh my god. This shit is crazy. Oh, he said uh, Them niggas from around the way wild corny do anything to get on they knew that shit was corny and Dre is way better than me. Like, these are like, I'm talking about million view artists that's like, yo, Dre's way better than me. I would've stole on him. Like, ain't no way. See what they do for views? Like, this is crazy, bro. Like, <laughs> he really tried to get that off. He tried to get that one off. And I'm telling you, when you do media, it'd be hard. Like, you get a story like that and it'll be like, yo, I could turn on my camera right now and do 30, 40, 50,000 views. I was like, no, nah, I'm not, I, I couldn't, I'm, not, I'm sorry. But I will talk about this because the same way the lie gets spread, make sure y'all spread the truth the same way. That's all I'm saying. If the lie deserves to have wheels on it, at least put some sneakers on the truth and let it walk around the world too. Salute to Dre Dennis, salute to the Loud Boys, salute to Gates of the Garden, salute to his wife and his son, which is crazy that anybody would go that far to try to disrespect a man's what? <sighs> Dre, we gotta take the kids to the aquarium or something, man. We gotta meet up, man. I take the, let's take the kids to the aquarium and do something like that, man. Cause you in Jersey, the aquariums in Camden and shit.